To the back of the march is just uh, joining us now. for turning out the links. Um, if you're just joining us, we're here at Limerick Park um, in Los Angeles, California. Uh, we're here at the rally for justice for Trayvon Martin. Uh, we just uh, marched and uh, now we're here at Limerick Park in, in very inclement weather for Los Angeles. So Bilal saying that um, we're going to do a mic check. Hey, hey. We're coming out this morning. We're in the wedding. We demonstrate to this city. We demonstrate to this city. To this country. To this country. That we will not allow our black people to be shot down and murdered anymore. We will not allow our black men to be shot down and murdered anymore. No. Trade off. Trade off. Trade off. One for one. Two for two. Say it again. Let's go to my check. My check. My check needs to be that for me. We had Emmett Till. We had Emmett Till. Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Do you see a pattern? Do you see a pattern? Do you see the pattern? Do you see the pattern? Do you see a pattern? Do you see a pattern? Are you telling this shit? 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 I asked, are you telling this shit? Yes! Are you ready to do something about this shit? Are you ready to take the gloves off? Yes! Are you ready to take the gloves off?
is a lot larger than the crowd at the start of the march. Uh, there's a couple, like at least 200 or 300 people here now. Right now, you just cannot 
go from here without doing anything. You got to call. You got to talk to somebody. I met a young sir down here said, I said, what organization you involved in? She said, I'm just concerned with what happened. People out here are concerned with what happened. A lot of people say it's not a black issue. I say you might be right, but I know it's a black baby in the ground laying there. That's it. That's the reality. So I'm not going to apologize for a lot of shit. I am tired of our children being killed. We get more time for the same crime than other people. Speaker! 46% of us are in the South Prison. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You have so many civil unrest. We have to rise up again in our community to take control of our community and deal with self. Yes! Of everybody that's here. I want you to know that you stand in tall, you stand in tall for Trayvon. For Trayvon! 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 No, Jester! I know they better do something about this. Is that a question? You think we pay standing out here? All right? All right, y'all. All right? They better do something about this. Oh, you can't. 
Because you will find us this fastest course of race. Vote with your money. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to use your money again, you got to support those of us who fight. Because I don't give a fuck. I can die to die for fighting this shit. But at the same time, what are you going to do when the next person steps up? You know what I'm saying? We don't need nobody else in protest We're talking about the same thing next person that got killed. That's not going to change this shit. You know what I'm saying? But once we get out here and start fighting, you got to have our back. Every time. The next time, you got to bring 10 more people here with you. That's what we need. We need solidarity in this. All power to the people. All power to the people! So that was someone from Occupy Crenshaw who just spoke. Power to the people! Thank you guys for, um, for tweeting out the link. Thank you. People to the power! People to the power! People to the people!
Thank you. Yes. All right. All power to the people. All power to the people. All power to the people. Our next speaker is the Fifth Our next speaker is the Fifth Our next speaker is the Fifth We're going to be back here next Sunday, the same place, same time. And we're going to bring more people. Yeah. We're meeting at 2 yeah. o'clock at Exposition of Crenshaw. Yeah. And we want a united front of all forces in Los Angeles. We don't care who you are or where you came from. We're standing together for justice for Trayvon Martin. Justice we're here for to Trayvon. support the family and the community of Trayvon Martin as long as this struggle has to go on. And every day is not going to be sunny and warm. But we're going to continue to fight and to organize for justice. No justice! No justice! No we peace. put the green light on George Zimmerman. If you see George Zimmerman, get him! Yeah. That's right. The chief of police, Bill Lee, is an accomplice after the fact. That's right. He's guilty of obstruction of justice and a cover up of murder. At least. Chief, Chief Lee, get him. Get him. The new Black Panther Party said that they put a $10,000 bounty on the head of George Zimmerman. Right. I got a dollar on it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I got something on it. If you see George Zimmerman, get him. We cannot trust and count on these Justice Department people to solve our problems. Two years ago, the United States Justice Department said they were opening an investigation into the murder of Oscar Grant. They're here they now. have still not come back with the conclusion of their investigation, and Oscar Grant's murderer is walking the streets a free man. Just and me, if you Just see Johanna especially, get him. Let these people come to Lamar Park, Johanna especially. Come down my street. We got something for you. All right. All power to the people! All power to the people! Two o'clock next Sunday, all forces, French on exposition. All power to the people! All the people! Justice is so free. There's a comparison with Zimmerman, Sergeant Bells. We might know Sergeant Bells here. Sergeant Bells, U.S. soldier. Shot down 16 to 5th grade. They did these atrocities. They committed these acts of terrorism because they knew they could. That's right. That's right. What that makes them think that they can? Huh? Not us. What is you got some job ass house in there in the White House called Obama? And he he found his office copies. They don't have to worry about him saying the damn thing about it. They got these weak, so-called civil rights leaders or fucking cheerleaders out here. It's just, it's just that we can get on their watch. People are constantly dying, constantly starving, constantly being made homeless. So this is why they feel they can do this. Because they feel that they wrong they're protected. Second, that your people are going to remain quiet. The people are going to remain outside. The people that are right now passing it, that day is over. Starting right now in Lamar Park. They have a law. They have a law that's protecting them in that talk. Stand your ground law. That's not the first time. Well, yeah, we can stand our ground too. Well, we need to come up with a stand your ground rule in our community. Yeah, no one that's real. That's real. If we feel an apprehension of our lives, we have the right to act. And you know, plus being apprehensive, I like very big. It's a problem. So if it's good enough for him to be right with it, I can't be good enough for us. So we're going to stand our ground. We're not going to take this shit anymore. No we more. have a legal right that if a person, a police officer, is going to be arrested, they have a right to stand their ground. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
Somebody right now was talking about in the crowd, this is a peaceful thing, it's not about guns. Well, you know what? If it was about peace, we wouldn't be here. That's right. right. Because we do not choose whether it's going to be a peaceful protest or a violent protest. That's right. The oppressor dictates that. Because if they use guns, we got to use guns. That's right. That's right. Yes. I don't have any, anybody with me, but uh, this paper says I'm a criminal because I'm taking video. I see something I always get away. This is a license to murder our people. Exactly. And this is what LAPD is doing. Exactly. And the dumb stop right there. LAPD has a program right now. Special Order 11 and Special Order 1, that we have the pretext to open investigation and open files on people. So you know, doing what? Taking pictures in public, using video cameras in public, drawing diagrams, using binoculars, talking to each other. It's just a lot of bullshit that is going on. So if we're going to wait around, we're here in solidarity with the family, with Trevon's family and everybody else, but we got to protect ourselves. And we gotta let LAPD know that fuck you, we're not gonna take this. Exactly. So we gotta stop this program now. So come and join us. It's the Stop LAPD's Foreign Coalition campaign for the order one and special order eleven. I'm gonna pass this on to you. Take a look for yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a chapter at SCIU 99. I'm part of an organization called Struggles United Luchas Unidos. What we're trying to put out there too is something as similar as everybody else, but we have to have a combative force. We have to fight against the, the capitalist society that makes us who we are. We're making us a minority people. We're taking one. up all of our My hands are full. We're taking everything that people in the 60s fought for us. Now we have to come back and continue that tradition of fighting back. We have to take into account what's going on in the capitalist world. So the capitalist crisis is hitting all of us right now. They're privatizing the debt and the public publicizing, privatizing the profits. So what they're doing is they're making us fight amongst each other so we forget what the exactly. bigger problem is. Exactly. This is racism that they're imposing on us. They're trying to make all kinds of white, black, brown, yellow fight against each exactly. other. Exactly. Fight against exactly. United. We have to remember that we're a working class society. We're the working class, we're the majority of the world. Yeah. We're the majority of the world. Yeah. 
have to remember is that our alliances is with our brothers and sisters that work like us, that fight like us, because we have nothing else to lose. We have to unite amongst ourselves with the people in Egypt who are fighting, they're having a transitional revolution. We have to remember what's going on in Greece. They're having 18 or more general strikes. We're going to have to think that way too. We have to think about how we're going to fight. We have to fight strategically. Exactly. Internationally. Exactly. Don't forget that the United States wants to get everything out of the world. Exactly. Where everybody else in the world is working for $2 or less. Exactly. When are we going to organize together, united as a working class? We have to have a working class party. We're internationalists, but we have to remember something. We have to fight together as a unit, because our unit is with the working class. How many billions of people are working class? The majority of the world. Don't forget numbers. Mathematically, we win. We have economic or shutdown. Who runs the economy? We do. Let's remember that Martin Trayvon, Trayvon Martin, he's going down because he's a victim, like all of us are victims. We have to remember that we should not forget people like him. We have to fight because that's all we have left. And we have nothing, we don't have organization, uh, and we don't have unity. They're going to continue to cut us little by little. Thank you. First the fingers, then the hands, then the head. We have to stay together. Let's organize together. Fight.
color, to be educated, you know, about the things that have been happening, and, you know, do whatever you can to delegitimize the authority that they use as a crutch to brutalize people, you know, and stop, stop the collaboration. <coughs> it's not going to happen. They're just tools to be a crutch. Please. Anybody else with a solution? Yeah. Anyone else who has smoke yet? Yeah. 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 Um, so, I know you guys are here because you're tired of this shit. You've been thinking about it for a long time. So you need to step your ass up to the plate. Let's get some ideas out here and come up with an action plan to get some action. yourself and defend yourself we have we have to educate we have to politicize we have to unify and we have to strategize but we got to be able to protect any progress and moves we make everybody here needs to be training in some form of self-defense yeah. everybody here needs to get legal guns if you can if you do not have felonies if you can purchase legal weapons you need to do so you need to get ammunition you need to get Bulletproof vets. You need to study guerrilla warfare and you need to be motherfucking ready. Yeah. You need to study your constitutional rights and you need to act on your constitutional rights. You need to study your Second Amendment rights and you need to act on your Second Amendment rights. You need to protect yourself. Do not let these pigs catch you slipping. If you can prevent it, prevent it. If you can get together with the people in your life that you're close with, your organization, your family, Yo, friends, y'all yes. need to be together, training, exercising, and practicing with your weapons, and going to the shooting range, and being prepared. Because guess what? These enemies we have, they got their power from violence. They keep their power from violence. They do not practice non-violence. The police don't practice non-violence. The government don't practice non-violence. They don't pass, practice passism. They don't practice being laid back. So how the fuck is we gonna be non-violent, passive, and laid back? It's it's a contradiction. It can't happen. All power to the people. All, All power, power to the people. people.
by four black people, I mean four white people. And nothing was done to them. This is my dad's son, 14 years of age. 14. And them is baby, on up. A beautiful kid, had the right to live. Just like y'all kids got the right to live. Man, where's Jesse? Nowhere. Nowhere. It ain't no Jesse. Right. What we supposed to do as a people, like my man said, we got to protect ourselves, we got to protect our community, we got to protect our children from these hateful devils. That's what I call them, devils. That's exactly what they is. That kid didn't even get his first kid, a baby. They said it was accidental drowning. Y'all can see this beat. Take a good look at it. And they covered it up. They covered him up. And I want justice for him, and they won't give me justice for him. So we, as a people, we got to get justice for them. Because they both was wrongly done. The only reason they got murdered is because they was black. Right. No, no, no other reason right. they can say. Yeah. Because they was black. We don't want this yeah. nigga around here. Let's kill him. And they killing the young kids so they can stop us from producing. Right. That's why they going after our babies. They ain't coming after the men. Because they know the men gonna kill them first. We gonna protect ourselves. But what can a baby do? What can a child do? If y'all can tell me a child can defend themselves, step on up. Step on up and let me know a child like this can defend himself. It's wrong. Something, 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 something is real fucked up with a police. FBI agent is, is a murderer of my son. Yeah. His son is the murderer of, of my son. Oh, Come on is, now. Is for Jason they covered Smith. it up. It's so I want justice for all of them. Yeah. And they need mm -hmm. to go back to these so-called accidents oh, and reopen all them cases. That's too many kids that's dead. And I'm living proof. And don't wait, don't wait till it, till it happens to y'all when y'all can do something now. Y'all can do something now. Jason Smith. Jason Smith. Jason Smith. We want, we want justice for Jason Smith. We want, we want uh, justice for Ty uh, Tyron. Mark. Trayvon. 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 Yeah. Jason Smith. Well, you know, hey, look, I'm blind. But I'm going as I go, my brother. Okay. I got it. Okay. As, as I go. All power to the people. The only thing I can go is these kids deserve to live. Exactly. He played football too. And he didn't get it. He'd be playing this year. But he didn't get that chance. My baby's got a right to live. Now what the, what y'all gonna do about it? Don't talk about it. Be about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be about it. And, and look, I burn forever getting down here. Just to say this. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be about it. Power to the people. Power to the people. We got the power. We got the power. The police ain't got the power. The police ain't got the power. We got the power. We got the power. Power to the people. Power to the people. Damn right. Damn right. Jason Smith. Jason Smith. Jason Smith. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. All right. My name is Jefferson Zizigo. I'm a native of the field in the United States for a while. And I'm also a member of the North Angeles Central Area Neighborhood Council. Many people don't know, but the city of North Angeles has a neighborhood council to which the community can participate directly in what's going on in your community and 
to fight for social justice. <coughs> right now, we are fighting a battle with all other members of the action army force in the, in the, in the, in the, in the council who are trying to put the police in charge indirectly. We had a program to send our youth to uh, Capoeira and martial arts. I'm a martial arts instructor to myself. We tell us to to jail. And these members, the reaction are members, they're against. Yeah. They're voting against. They want to they stop the program. Yeah. Instead of the youth going to jail, they would attend the program and we do a relief of the penalty at no cost at all. So we're fighting against. And we need your help. It's important for you to participate, yeah. not just assisting, but also joining. Because we need people that, that actually want to fight for, for our youth. You know, not just for the, the cops and, 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 and the politicians who are behind them. That's yeah. what it is. They, they give every year a budget for, for the city, for the council to use in the, in the neighborhood. Yeah. So, so for there you guys can see it. Uh, I agree with what everyone has said here. It's important also for us to know who our enemies are. Yeah. You know, you gotta know your enemy. If you don't know your enemy, it's gonna be hard for you to fight. Not just for yourself, but for your sisters and brothers, your, your, your sons and daughters as well. Right. No. Who are our enemies? They try to always speak to the against each other. Exactly. I'm an African Brazilian. I'm a Latino. But many people they talk about Latino, they always speak like a Mexican, but it's not. Latino, all colors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, just, just like you have some, some folks in Africa who are not black as well. But, but it's always hard, of course. The people with the black and smaller skin always gonna take the harder piece. Right. That's right. But people don't, don't learn how to put a, a difference inside. And also, as, as I stated before, try not to fight for yourself. No arm never wanna battle with one and one soldier fighting for itself. Even when you fight like like the brothers for the Black Panther Party, they united as such a you know great organization. It was too hard for them. But they, they haven't lost yet. You know, still going on. It's up for us, the new generation, and who comes after us to pick up the fight, enjoy, do what is right, do what is right. You know, they can win, they can win. But how are you gonna do it? That's, that's the question. How are you gonna do it? By yourself, impossible. Look, we need to join organizations that we believe. If you don't have to join the organization, you gotta see the organization gonna put their difference aside. Nobody, you know, nobody's the same. The organization is not the same either. But if you know we put the difference to fight for the well-being of everyone else, we have a good thing. Yeah. 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 It'll be what? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
justice is before you today, and justice is standing before you today, but you cannot see it. I represent the God of justice himself, and this is what I have for you. Your mind creates what you get. If you want justice, believe that you have it, you will get it. If you want the white man to start hating you, anybody, China man, anybody to start hating you, the black man to start hating you, believe that he stop hating you today, you will get what you ask for. Your heart, your mind will create it for you because that's where your power lies. You can ask in the wrong person for justice. You can ask locking on the wrong door. The place to look is in your heart, in your head. That's where justice, the power to create and command the world that you live in comes from. You are a little bit more than just flesh. You are a lot more. You're very powerful, but you just don't know it because of that. You have to fight. There is no fight. I have seen Javon Martin, and he is happy. He was lifted from where he was murdered into heaven by Archangel Michael himself. If you believe in God, I want you to tell me. All right. If you believe in God, know that your witness or your cause are answered by him and not man and it's not anybody around you to do it for you. We as people need to come together and work together more. Black people talk to On a spiritual more. level. Love yourselves like you never loved yourself before. And everybody else around you will start loving you the same way. If you hate yourself, everybody around you will start hating you too. So start loving each other, L-O-V-E. -E. Make sure that it's a centerpiece of everything that you do. And nobody can touch you. And that's the vibration you put in out there. All right. Power. Praise the Lord. Pass the ammunition. You did it. All right. You did it. You know what? Well, I what I I while I do not want to in any way argue with the brother's argument that we have to love ourselves first and think positively, think, thinking positively is not going to solve our problems in America alone. A brother earlier said that we have to understand what racism is. We have to get clear in our head what it is we're up against. In this country, racism has never been a passive force. It has always been a militant, organized, vicious force prepared to use any means to maintain the principle of white supremacy and black oppression. We have to know this. If you know the history of the Civil War, you know that the Southern armies were the most militant force on the battlefield. And the Union armies could not defeat them until they were ready to mow them all down with the higher technology. That is how militant racism in America is. And there's a tradition behind that. And it has been passed on from generation to generation. Somebody already said, there's a tradition here that we're up against. And we should never get passive enough to think that because we've made some legal headway, that the mentality that led not only to slavery in this country, at the time that it was proclaiming itself uh, the birthplace of freedom, but also that produced Mass movement, such as the Ku Klux Klan, mass underground armed movement, militant armed movements against the rights of black people and other suppressed people in this country, that just doesn't go away because some changes have happened in the political arena. That's right. We do have to learn our, our defend ourselves. It is our right as human beings to defend ourselves. But as Ron said, this is not just an individual thing. Unless we are also organizing ourselves into powerful movements that can protect us in our own communities, we are not seriously coming to grips with our problem. So we need more of what Ron is doing. We need to take control of politics in our community. We need more independent political movement in our community that we control. Yeah that deals with everything from the police to education to food, clothing, shelter, and self-defense. Yeah. We have the human right and responsibility to fight for that. Yeah. And those who are not in our community also have a responsibility around that. And their responsibility is to recognize the militancy of racism in America. You cannot be a passive ally of the oppressed and be serious about dealing with racism. That's right. You must be at least as militant as the racists yeah. are. Yes. 
Yeah. Speak on it. Quasi. Speak you on it. You have to build militant movements of anti-racism. Movements that are capable of disarming, disorganizing, and eventually dissipating the racist force that has always been at the core of American society. It is still there. years. That's why we're out here today in the rain. Trayvon Martin is one example of thousands. He's not. He's not the only one who's been gunned down like this in America today. No, no, no. No. Happens every day. There are thousands in every city, exactly. in every state, in exactly. every community of America. And those of us, of you who are not from the African American community in particular, particularly those of you from the white community, you need to open your eyes to these facts. You need to recognize and confront the militancy of white racism in our society, and you must get committed to building a militant movement to fight and uproot it until this nonsense ends. Exactly. And it was already said, it is no mistake that we're out here in the rain over what happened to Trayvon Martin and hundreds of others all over this country at the same time, at the same time, that U.S. soldiers are committing atrocities abroad because right. it is simply the same phenomena speak on it. in two different arenas. Say speak on it. Say it. Say it. We have got to get real with this stuff. You know, another tradition in America is sticking your head in the sand. Yeah. A culture yeah. of denial. Exactly. No doubt. Say it. It's time for that culture to be uprooted too. Yeah. We have got to stop the denial in this country. Yeah. Shut it down. We have got to get down with the reality of American history and America's current politics throughout the world and at home. So, I mean, I, in saying any of this to any of you, I'm preaching to the choir, and I know that because you're out here in the rain with us today. But one of the reasons why we started Occupy the Hood was both to struggle within the Occupy movement. Exactly. To raise up the issue of people being serious about the militancy of these struggles on all fronts, on the one hand, and on the other hand, to contribute something, exactly. something real, yeah. to the equation of organizing in our community the power to protect ourselves on all fronts all fronts not just one or the other you know a lot of our folks think that if they fight for education everything will be all right nope. some of us think that well you know uh, uh if, if i fight for uh, equal rights in the voting arena everything will be solved no nope. hell no nope. Hell right? no. it's also incorrect to think that if you train just to defend yourself that it's gonna solve the equation because <laughs> You know, this thing is a holistic problem here. That's and we've got to bring all the pieces together. And we've got to defend ourselves on every single front. And we need militant allies in America. We need militant allies who are not practicing self-deception and who are prepared to be militant in this struggle. All of you are because you came out here in the rain, and that is proof positive in the city of Los Angeles for real. But it doesn't stop here. It might start here. It might start here, but it cannot stop here. Occupy the Hood is not just about doing actions in the streets. Exactly. Demonstrations alone will not change our condition. That's right. We have to have organized power right. to change that equation. Yes. And that is what we are asking you to join us in doing. Building, as someone else said earlier, building, a, I think it was Ron, Ron Gosha, building organization that is capable of protecting our interests in this time, in this day, and in the conditions in which we live. And so we ask you to join us in doing that. Exactly. And yes, we want exactly. you to come back. And yes, we want you to witness again next week out here in the streets. Yeah. Yeah. 
But that is not all we're asking you to do. We are asking each and every single one of you, whatever your political belief, yeah, yeah, whatever your ideology, yeah. your philosophy, your religion, or whatever, mm -hmm. to come back to the community, go back to the community at large. Mm -hmm. And each one, teach one, each one, reach one, but bring it together. We have to organize our communities on many different levels yeah. to solve this problem. Exactly. That's right. Say to it. solve all of our problems because every aspect of our life is a problem. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Say it, sir. So I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> but we are gonna we are putting out a call to re do this march next weekend also because you know what even if they arrest this guy even if they put him in the electric chair the problem would not be solved That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. the problem would not be solved this is not an individual incident nope. this is not isolated That's right. this is not just about what happened in florida yeah. It's about the prison industrial complex. Yeah. Exactly. It's, a, it's about why we've got triple digit unemployment in our communities. Say it, sir. Say it. It's about the culture of racial profiling, which is nothing except nothing except the old uh, uh, ideology of, of racial stereotypes exactly. that suppress one group and elevate another at its, at its expense. That's what we're fighting against. So thank you for coming out today. But frankly, not your responsibility or ours has been met by coming out here today in the rain. It can only be met on a day-to-day -day basis until our total condition has been changed. And until that has happened, we haven't done nothing. And those of you who have come from outside of the African American community, in the brown communities, here in South Central LA, until you are 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 helping to produce those militant movements capable, capable of dismantling this system of racial terrorism. Yes, yes, yes. You have done nothing. That's right. So, thank you for coming out. I'm going to shut up now. There are other people. I'm a revolutionary communist. I want to read a part of a statement from the Revolutionary Communist Party. And I want to start it off by saying we need a revolution. And anything else is bullshit. This statement says it is very good and very important that people, not only in Sanford, Florida, but all over the country, are outraged by the murder of Trayvon Martin and are making their outrage known in many different and creative forms of protest. It is also important that in connection with the murder of Trayvon Martin, the memory of Emmett Till, wantonly murdered by white supremacists decades ago, is being raised to express the fact that people have seen this go on for far too long yeah. and will not stand by to see it happen yet again. At the same time, the fact that yet another Emmett Till moment can arise, that yet another outrage of this kind can take place today, more than 50 years after the original Emmett Till lynching, and that this murder of Trayvon Martin is not an isolated incident, but only the latest of an endless chain of such acts that are perpetrated, condoned, and covered up by the powers that be, shows very powerfully that this time around, we must not settle for anything less than stopping this once and for all. We must build a movement to really and finally put an end to these and countless other outrages that spew forth from this system by sweeping away this system 
through revolution. Shut it down. This is deadly serious, and we must take this up very seriously. This is from a statement from the Revolutionary Communist Party, and I have copies of it that I can get to people here, but I just wanted to add one more thing. I wanted to repeat that statement at the end. This is deadly serious, and we must take this up very seriously. The Revolutionary Communist Party actually has a strategy for revolution that is very serious. Understanding we need to get to a revolutionary situation when millions and millions of people are ready to put their lives on the line to rise up to get rid of this system, to defeat it and dismantle it, and be able to put something new in its place. That's what a revolution is. And all this talk about going and getting arms right now and all this other thing, that's not serious not going to lead to the revolution that we need. And I want to make that distinction because we got to be serious and we got to get rid of this system and a whole other world is possible. Thank you. Right, folks, thank you. Uh, let's uh, we do need arms right now because if they keep killing us at the rate they kill it, ain't going to be a motherfucker here to fight a goddamn revolution when it comes. Or if it ever comes. So I'm down with carving myself and protecting myself right now. Not wait 20 years down the line, some revolution. When I picked up that gun in the Black Panther Party, that was revolutionary for me. That's when the most, I, I felt the most free. So if you got guns, you can get guns, get you a gun. So we don't never know when they come kicking down the goddamn door. So I'm, I'm not waiting on a revolution to get to find that out. So anyway, but I respect the system what you said. We want to wrap this up, y'all. We want to thank again everybody. For me, the real soldiers came out here this morning. Brave the rain, the cold, we're wet, we're tired, we're hungry, we're pissed off. We got some shit out today. Talk about unity, talking about resistance, talking about self-defense, and talking about doing talk about doing the damn thing. Talking about doing the damn thing like the brother said. Quit fucking talking about it and being about it. Yeah, the brother said, trying an organization to kill young, kill black. You need to be riding with the black rights because they got a program too. And their program has been working in the community through practice, not by no fucking theory. All right? They put the practice down there. And this there, we want to close out and have the black rights close us out. Again, thank you. Thank, thank you. We are tired to all the people. Hold up. They are also collecting donations to continue the work they're doing. You support what they're about, you support their work, support them with your pockets, all right? Not just with your words, with your pockets. So if you got cash, dig deep. You got a checkbook, right wrong. All right. Next Sunday, 2 o'clock, tell a friend. All right. Here, here. Tell 11 friends. Black Lives is going to close the bell. Black Lives is going to close the bell. All power to the people! 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 Wow! It's really, really cold right now. I just want to um, tell you guys again um, how welcome I felt when I came into this neighborhood. Um, I parked about a half a mile away from where we met up. Um, and uh, as I was walking down the street, every person I passed um, smiled and said hello to me. And um, I really, it really felt very welcoming coming into this community today. I um, also want to reiterate that this is Occupy the Hood um, that put on this, this event today. Um, everybody who tweeted links, um, thank you uh, for your help. 
on um, signing off in a couple minutes and uh, making my way back back to my car. Hey! Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Thank you for tweeting.